Hello everyone, this is Yukira Ganda, and today I'm going to talk about a tool that's used as a deception strategy, and a tool that we're going to use is Honeypot. Honeypot is a device placed on a computer network, specifically designed to capture malicious network traffic. Um, the um, captured information is highly valuable, as it contains only malicious, um, how do I say, malicious traffic with little to no false positives. So today, um, we're looking into KF sensors, KF sensor, yeah. So KF sensors is a honeypot, and uh, I'm going to try see monitors all traffic, interact with the attacker, like it shows all ports, but these are not the real one, you know, like should an attacker attempt to exploit or upload a rookie or throw in the server um to the server the honeypot environment will safely store these files and my computer for analysis and sometimes when an attacker connect to connect to the network they are fooled into thinking they are attacking a real server um i'm gonna download a free trial so Yes, everything. I don't need that. Yeah, we can use my Gmail. Submit. And now we're gonna try the free trial version professional. I'm using Windows 10, so find the one that's um exactly for your computer. And we can now open it. Let's see. Yes, it's opening. So next, we try to read all of this. Yes, we read everything, right? Next, we're going to put in my drive. Yes, install. Yes, I want to allow change to this device. Okay. It will now launch KF sensor. Uh, wink up is not located. Okay, that's fine. So, I did install... Um, this application earlier to see if it work on my computer because I've tried several honeypots and they were not working and this was the only one that works so I will redo I'll try to get into my system let's try command prompt here and from what we can see right now is 852 it detected something if we click on that it should open yeah um it give you the severity low description and what the, the requested data everything in there it's more in details Mm -hmm. Okay, let's call that. I just wanted to see my IP address. So my IP address is 182.168. And okay, there. And what we're gonna do now is go go inside 192 it says it cannot be reached but 
Kev Tensor saw that somebody was trying to, and it tells you tensor port number, TC protocol, the duration, everything. Let's see. I'm more in data. Well, usually the first thing we'll see is the summary, right? It was from Chrome, because so I was using Chrome. Yeah. See? The control connection closed. Tell you exactly what the path of um, sending this packet. Um, okay, let's try another way. We can try Thousand. If my yeah, my computer is very slow. Spells it on. So you can see if it detects anything. No, I don't want this. Host it's this machine. Oh no. Let's say the attacker knows this, right? Um some random password. Try to connect to it. And Fazilla, um, no, Kev sensor detected this. So, yeah. Give you exactly what I type for password. And then user cannot log in because I can because of I gave the wrong password. Um, just one little thing about um about Kev sensor is is a low interaction. It's not I mean it's not high interaction meaning that it's emulate system with vulner vulnerabilities. Um, and also so it's relatively easy to deploy and use little resources due to the fact that this can quickly be deployed within a virtual machine. And the problem with this approach is that an attacker has a greater, way greater chance of being aware that they are within a honeypot and can use it against the host because, you know, a good attacker will scan the system and everything. But with the honeypot as low as kept sensor, they can still get through. But I kind of like... um Guess and so you see all the recent activity that on my computer. It's there. Um, yeah. So thank you for listening. I'll see you guys soon.